Hey everybody, I'm Courtney Rolston and welcome back into my kitchen. Now I've got an absolute favorite that I'm gonna show you tonight. It is my whole roasted miso cauliflower. It is an absolute flavor bomb. It's really easy to make, so let's get on with the cooking. First thing you're going to need is a cauliflower. I've got a nice big one here. A whole big cauliflower is enough to feed four people. Now the thickest part of the cauliflower is that core. And by putting a cross in it, that just means we're gonna get some even cooking. I like to give the cauliflower about five minutes in some salted boiling water before we put it into the oven. All right, next we can prepare the miso glaze and it's super simple. You're going to need some miso paste. I've got about two tablespoons, pop that in. About a third of a cup of mirin, a couple of drops of sesame oil, just some maple syrup to sweeten up that salty miso paste. Give this a whisk and just get that nice and smooth. And just set that aside. All right, the cauliflower's had five minutes in that salted water. And I'm gonna pop it into a little roasting pot here. All we need to do now is some salt and some extra virgin olive oil onto the cauliflower. Cover it with some foil. This is gonna go into a 180 degree oven for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna make uh, a really nice vegan sauce to go with this. Uh, and I've got some raw cashews in. These have been soaking in some warm water. I'm gonna pop them into a jug and a little bit of spicy raw ginger in our sauce is gonna be really nice. A splash of apple cider vinegar and a pinch of sea salt. We're gonna blitz this with a stick blender until it becomes beautiful and creamy. All right, we're 30 minutes in with the cauliflower in the oven. You can take the foil off. And I've got over here a beautiful miso glaze that we made earlier. This is gonna go back into the oven, still at 180 degrees. It's gonna need about another maybe 20 minutes. Check this out. Look at that super caramelized, crunchy, tender on the inside cauliflower. All we need to do now is to put all the garnishes on. So that beautiful cashew dressing spiked with ginger, the green chili, the little French shallot we sliced up, some of those pomegranate jewels, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, mint that we picked fresh out of the garden. Look at that, miso roast cauliflower, rock star of a vegetarian dish. And that's how you make my miso roasted cauliflower. Give it a go, you will not be disappointed. Happy cooking.